you enjoyed the dryness that we saw this Sunday because that's all going to be coming to an end as we head into the overnight tonight and into the morning to start off your uh, work week. Going to be wet out there. Let's go ahead and jump out to our graphics. I'll show you a current satellite and radar. Notice clouds are starting to build in ahead of the cold front that's on its way. And there it is off towards the west. And of course, it's got some rain and even a few thunderstorms associated with it. So hour by hour, we're going to be staying in the mid 60s. Rain chances will start to increase uh, once we really get into that morning commute hours. Notice by 6 a.m. going to be right around 80% chance of rain. So here's what tomorrow's looking like. 63 for the high temperature, but we're actually going to be seeing our high temperature early that morning. Temperatures gradually going to drop drop into the 40s once we make it into the uh, dinner time hour tomorrow thanks to the colder air that's building in behind that cold front so morning storms and you can't expect temperatures to drop like I said through uh, the afternoon so I'm just going to go ahead and show you that notice 6 a.m. some of us going to be hanging out in the 60s but notice how that temperature gradient changes we're seeing greens and blues start to move in that's indication of that cooler air by two o'clock we're going to see about a 10 to 12 degree drop in temperatures but notice once we make it into uh, the five six seven o'clock eight o'clock hours we're going to be in the upper 30s by the time we get into the evening tomorrow now not only are we going to be seeing a cold burst of air we're going to be seeing a few isolated severe storms a marginal risk for both tonight and tomorrow tomorrow really comes in the early morning so Notice I'll play it out for you on future casts. A few isolated showers through midnight. Most of the action's really going to be coming once that cold front moves through. Like I said, majority of it going to be falling uh, during that morning commute. So make sure you do allow some extra time out on the roadways. And by 2 o'clock, things will start to clear out and dry up. And it looks like Tuesday, we'll see more clouds build back in. So here are the severe weather risks. The damaging wind gusts is really what we're going to be focusing on, as well as heavy rain. We could see damaging wind gusts us up to 35 miles per hour. So here's storm timing 5 a.m. for the western side of the Tennessee Valley, 7 a.m. by the central, 9 a.m. by the eastern side. So uh, good news is it does look like we will start to um, dry out by the uh, late late morning hour so seven day forecast 63 for tomorrow 49 for the high temperature on tuesday once that cooler air moves through of course we'll be back in the 70s by the end of this week we'll see another burst of cold air come through and we'll be back in the 50s by sunday can you